Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Tonton Review and I'm so sorry for the delay, I have a quiet problems during the last weekend and I missed the update from the postcon which have the image of all the new upcoming kingdom figures and I'm not gonna go into too specific about them because I'm gonna talk to about them in my review so this is only a small update of the pictures with Ratrap, Cheeto, Warpath and Black Arachnid you already see, have the reviews of them so feel free to check them out in the description other than that, we have some new images of Megatron T-Rex and Optimus Primal and a new core class, Vent Break, which is also a fossilizer. Only about this fossilizer, he will not be a parts former like his predecessor, which is Paleotrex, which is a shame because I enjoy the ideas. But seeing him as a core class, I don't think that the scale would work, so yeah. But moving on from that, the main point of this talk show, it will be about this picture over here which I think have the all the context of kingdoms which I think might involve some alternate universe or time travel because in this is a picture of we have Optimus, Ultra Magnus, Megatron, Galvatron even the team that stays on Cybertron as well and then Ultra Magnus this is quite exciting over here so I'm gonna go through a little bit of details so first we have an Optimus this is clearly the G1 Optimus but I'm still wondering if there's a hint of the Earthrise Optimus or the Core Optimus because we still have another Core Optimus so I'm not too sure but then there will be an Optimus Prime repackage from Earthrise in the Kingdom line so my bet will highly go on to the Earthrise repackage version we got a new leader class Ultra Magnus this time in a Earth vehicle mode but then I'm quite curious because will he be actually different you know like we will be an actual transforming Ultra Magnus or this is the same engineering as the Siege version and then they just change a few parts and then make him a Earth vehicle that is quite curious and if you look up a little bit then you will see this is Chiro but the curious thing is that this is not the Kingdom Chiro as we have seen this is more like an MP Chiro because of the leg and he got his blaster so that is quite fascinating and then we have tracks versus Warp Speedator so they are confirmed character that is going to be released so I'm quite exciting about this and in the center bottom we still got a new core class fossilizer I think this is some kind of lizard or something like that along with Warpath and Red Trap and we have Megatron himself in his glorious purple and I enjoyed it I know that there has been some argument on the internet about Megatron head but I think that this head will work brilliantly because they are going down with the realistic path of doing the figures of the beast mode and of course I forgot we have Rhinox on to the upper right corner of the pictures which is exciting as well so we have Huffer here as a deluxe class and in the list we also have a pipes which is a retain of Huffer I think I might be skipping those figures depends on the actual pictures and then of course we still have Garbatrons along with Cyclonus so Cyclonus has been confirmed that into the Kingdom line we will have a Voyager class Cyclonus but then the rumors on the pictures as well as we also gonna receive a studio series Scourge which will confirm my theory is that the 86 studio series line will be filling the G1 cast with the characters that will be appearing in either Siege, Earthrise or Kingdom this is really exciting and of course we still have RC and Wheeljack and in the bottom here we got Starscream which is gonna be a repackage of the Voyager Starscream from Earthrise we have Black Arachnia and the hand this is the Netflix Soundwave so I doubt that they're gonna release another Soundwave for this line then below it we have Scorpion Arms versus Gears personally I do I don't know much about Gears I'm gonna do a research about him later and oh, then of course we have another Maximals this is a polar cloud he transforms into a white bear and I don't think that he appears on the list I'm quite curious about this case but then the main event of this picture will be the arc as you can see this is will be the Titan class of this line and as from this picture we can see that the thruster will be his leg so this is will be a fairly tr easy and simple transformation and my prediction it will be about the core Optimus will fit into this arc somehow and maybe his head will be actually a deluxe size figures that can transform into his head like we have with Fortress Maximus before and actually attach onto the bodies and in the spaceship mode the shuttle mode that he can fit onto the arc somehow just like they done with Omega Supreme and of course we got Inferno which is no surprise and here we have Primal 
having some um, fossilizer armor which to me is kind of nice and I I'm looking forward for this figure because I have thought when I first saw Primal is that how I dislike the furry texture because to me the MP version I still like that texture but seeing this could be the realistic vibe instead of a cartoon accurate so I think they made a great choice and I cannot wait to have my hands on Primal and last but not least next on to Megatron we have Raptor Knight which is another fossilizer and I hope this guy will continue being a pup swarming figure so it would be nice if we have Megatron with some armor that made exclusively for him. So that will be it for this episode. The next talk show will be how I break down the trailers of Earthrise to see what is coming and not coming. And that will be it for today guys. So check out my other Kingdom Figures review. Link will be in the description. And subscribe if you are new. And also follow me on Instagram. So that will be it for today guys. Ta ta now.